it's in public over in Indiana, which is where I'm heading. Uh, it snowed a lot last night. It is cold outside. It's like 20 degrees according to my truck. My truck always lies because I know it's colder. And uh, we got a brisk north wind about 10, 15 mile an hour. So I'm, you know, probably gonna die like thermy tonight. That's okay. Uh, I say I'm hunting public, but I'm actually uh, accessing this public uh, on a private field that I went to ask for permission to use his field to access it. And he actually gave me permission to just hunt it. So I'll be hunting either on the edge of this cut cornfield or just inside the woods, Indiana, $150 tag, just one deer on that tag. And I'm not burning on anything but a buck. It doesn't have to be a big buck. It just has to be a buck that makes me somewhat happy, somewhat excited. Uh, fill the freezer some more and fill the tag. It just feels good. So. It's cold. It's very, very cold. See me now. Much needed. I'm just getting my pack together and uh, making sure I've got everything. Try not to dress too too warm, so to speak. I left my freaking camera on at the house. Now what? Huh. Alright, well I guess I'm filming this with my phone now. Unless I can figure out some way to rig that in a tree. set up on this tree right here I can't really find a lot of good sign other than all the way along the bottom edge there was a pretty good sized track but I didn't walk up this way but this is last time I hunted it I seen a couple does come out up here about 60 yards so I'm gonna set up here winds blowing in my face now and hopefully catch these deer coming out to this corn kind of got a good feeling kind of don't mainly because I can't feel my toes there's three does already out in the field. I just now got hooked up. I don't have anything ready. My bow's still on the ground. so hard to get that on camera. I honestly don't know if I did or not. Now the process begins. Oh yeah. This is gonna be good. Oh, here's the arrow. 
DRT blue right through him. Good looking blood on it. Stick it back in there. Maybe. This is going to be kind of tough to do because I get blood right here. It'll be tough to do because my phone is plugged into a charger and uh, it's on 2%. And this cold is just killing it so quickly. So I'm going to try to go right to him. I just got to find where he took off running. It shouldn't be too tough, especially in the snow. I've always wanted to blood trail a deer in the snow. Dreams come true, I suppose. This is pretty neat because how easy it sticks out. There he is, right there. Oh man. He's He's better than I thought he was. Look at this. Indiana public land buck. Heck yes. Oh. Nice, respectable public land deer. And I'm telling you, I bought this tag. Haven't hunted over here since 2011 and told myself that this year I'm going to enjoy hunting. I'm going to enjoy what it's all about. And uh, there's nothing more enjoyable than just bringing a deer down with a bow and arrow in public land makes it pretty special but it's not obviously the big, biggest deer I've ever killed but I've had a lot of fun doing it he's gonna bring a lot of meat to my table that is for sure <laughs> here he is guys nice little respectable little rack buck here public land in indiana and uh i just can't say enough about it it's 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 just a very humbling feeling to come in here and not know a single deer on this property and get it done and uh another thing i've really enjoyed this year is hunting out of these saddles this trophy line saddle makes it to where i can go in any piece of public i can pack in all my gear and be ready to hunt at any time and uh, it worked out really well today. I knew that I was going to come in here and try to find where the deer were hitting this cut cornfield and use the snow to my advantage. And it worked out great. This buck, he was working his way through the woods right behind me. He snuck right up on me, honestly. It scared the crap out of me. He was 50 yards the first time I saw him. And I knew instantly, like, I'm an out-of-stater, public land, I'm going to shoot this deer uh, every single time and not feel any remorse about it at all. Just a cool little buck. He was coming downwind of some does that I seen early in the afternoon. And uh, it worked out great to where he come right underneath me. Put a shot on him. If it was on the opposite side, I shot him right here, quarter two, dirt nap DRT. That's where those fixed blade DRTs come in handy so much. Is I make that shot with an expandable. <laughs> it might go through him and it might not. It might penetrate two or three inches. And uh, the difference in that and what I'm shooting is this buck died right here, 75 yards from the tree I was in. And uh, now the work begins. I'm gonna head back to the truck, get the deer cart, and start working on getting this big boy out of here. So thankful for public land and just, just being able to do this. So awesome. Heck yes. <laughs>